This is the noisiest recorder I have. And this is the cleanest recorder that I have. Can you tell the difference between these two audio samples in terms of noisier versus cleaner? So what is the difference between those two samples you heard? EIN or equivalent input noise. What's the technical definition of EIN? Let me read it and then let me tell you what it means for you and I. Equivalent input noise, EIN, is a specification often used for microphones and preamps that represents the noise level of a device as if it were introduced at the input rather than internally. So what does that actually mean for us and noise in our audio? Every recorder has a preamp. Every preamp produces some amount of noise. Some are very noticeable, some you can barely hear. And EIN is a measurement of the amount of noise we'd get if we connected a typical dynamic microphone like an SM7B to the input of the recorder. For example, the preamps inside of this Zoom H4n noticeably noisier than the preamps inside of this Mix Pre 3, which measure an EIN of minus 128 dBU. The lower value, in this case, the minus 128, is going to be the cleaner preamp. So if you have an audio recorder for your podcast or your YouTube channel or something else, and you're using XLR dynamic microphones, something that requires a lot of gain from your preamp, you might be getting more noise than you want. And this can be extremely frustrating trying to chase down the source of the noise. And you know this noise. It's a subtle, persistent hissing sound like this that lives underneath all of your recorded audio. Anytime we do videos like this, we tell you, put on headphones if you wanna hear it better. Well, people have you right in their ear, they can hear that sound underneath your audio. And if you care about your audio, you spend a lot of time making it, you wanna make it the best possible. So if that's you, let me help you avoid that or fix it. So I said, this is the noisiest audio recorder I have. I actually have another one, completely different manufacturer with EIN of negative 120. And that's about the loudest noise from a preamp that you're going to buy in 2025. There are still plenty with that EIN available. But then the quietest one that I have is negative 128. So only a difference of 7 dBU, but it is a difference you can hear. And so I've created a free list that you can download the links in the description or on this video, it's going to list the EIN so you can see them all at a glance and see the different EIN specs as well as the amount of gain that the preamp offers. So two factors come into play. If you have something like an SM7B, you're gonna need a lot of gain and then you're gonna want that gain to be relatively clean to another audio recorder. So check out that sheet that lists all of that out. And while you're down there, if this is helpful, hit subscribe. All right, so let's check out some real world audio samples. We are in the studio here. This is my ideal recording environment. I have some acoustic treatment back there and it's relatively quiet. This is a situation you're gonna get for most podcasts, most YouTube videos, because you're in a room that you can control what noises are inside of it. But in this recording, I have brought it up to a level that I would end up publishing online. And if you're wearing headphones, you might hear the preamp noise of the H4n underneath my voice. You might even hear it on the Mix Pre 3 underneath my voice. But again, that could be noise from the environment. I just heard a fan kick on in the computer because we're using it to record. So we could pick that up. There are many factors that could create noise. Most of it's gonna come from the environment that you're recording in. It's gonna be fans from computers, lights, HVAC in the room, noise outside of your room. There are countless sources of noise. But when we take all of that away and we just measure the preamp of the audio recorder, that's the EIN spec. EIN translates the noise generated within a device, like a microphone preamp, to an equivalent noise level at the input. This makes it easier to understand how much the device itself contributes to the overall noise in a signal chain. EIN essentially translates the noise generated within a microphone preamp to an equivalent noise level at the input. This makes it easier to understand how much the device itself contributes to the overall noise in a signal chain. 
from a starting point, I definitely would rather start, in this case, on the recorder that had an EIN of negative 128, because it means less work I have to do in post-production to reduce that noise, because I want it really clean, because again, people have you in their ears, which then also means you will not affect the audio as much. You won't degrade your voice as much. Noise removal is great these days, but if you don't have to do it, that's even better. If you have a condenser microphone, it's going to use phantom power, and you're not going to be relying so much on the preamp that the microphone or the environment you're in is probably gonna produce more noise than the preamp itself. So again, XLR dynamic microphones, which require a lot of gain, is where you're going to notice this EIN spec. But it is just one spec, it's a good starting point. Obviously, this comes from the manufacturer, so if they didn't measure it properly or they fudge the number so it's a little bit better, different audio recorders with the same EIN could be different. So if you're in the market for an audio recorder, definitely check out the sheet that I made that lists them all out. It's probably one of the audio recorders you're looking for. Definitely one of the audio recorders that I would recommend is on that list. And you can hit me up asking questions about that in the comments. I'll answer that, everyone can see it. Maybe it'll help someone else pick out an audio recorder. I think there is something in everyone's budget at a level where you can start and kind of know that it's not the preamp that's creating the noise. For me, when I'm trying to problem solve issues with audio, you wanna eliminate the potential things that could be causing that problem. With an audio recorder that has an EIN of negative 128, I've kind of eliminated the possibility that it's the preamp, unless you have a bad preamp. But starting from there lets me know at least the gear I'm using is ready to go, and if I'm getting noise, I need to figure out what else is causing it. Which leads me to what if you already have one of these audio recorders, what if your EIN is a number that is noticeable in the audio. I have a video all about removing that noise. Again, as I mentioned, noise removal has gotten so good that you can put a little touch on, it'll clean up that preamp noise, it won't really affect your voice, and you're gonna have amazing sounding audio. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them as soon as I can, and I'll see you next time.